Welcome to Little Fish Comic Book Studio. Let me show you guys around. Art school conjures up a mental image of paint-spattered students uh, bearing portfolios and wearing black berets. Alonzo Nunez is busy changing that limited vision. Um, some phenomenal art books. Nunez's school, Little Fish Comic Book Studio, is a small building on a tree-lined street in Ocean Beach. Inside, it's stuffed full of comic books and art, and some of the rooms are plastered, floor to ceiling, with comic strips. I grew up loving comics. Um, I got my Bachelor's of Fine Arts in uh, comic book illustration from the School of Visual Arts. Nunez has been teaching comic book art here since he opened the school in 2012. It's the only place in San Diego you can go to learn how to do exclusively comic book and manga art. I helped mentor a after-school program down at High Tech High Chula Vista uh, where they were developing comics. Um, and I had so much fun doing it that um, I decided, you know, I think, I think this needs to be a full-time thing. Nunez is a San Diego native. He grew up here and remembers the evolution of Comic-Con from a small cosplay-studded gathering <laughs> to the huge Hollywood affair it is today. It was always interesting how after Comic-Con would end, you would have the, this huge festival of four days, you know, of comics. Comics were everything in the city for four days. The other 361 days, comics were non-existent. So I wanted to kind of open up the comic world to San Diego a little bit more and have a little bit more connection. His students are of all ages and abilities. He says they range from elementary school age to in their 30s. Today, he's standing at the chalkboard in the small classroom in the back of the building drawing examples for students. Up here, something where it's those buildings, but shot from lower. Does that make sense? Yeah. Zayanya Hernandez Grant is 16. She's a student at the School of Creative and Performing Arts. Once a week, she takes the bus here to Ocean Beach to sharpen her art skills. Actually, I want to go into graphic design and animation. <laughs> Um, eventually, I want to work for a major company like uh, Disney or a place like that. I'm really interested in um, storytelling, and that comes out through my art. <laughs> Her friend and classmate, 17-year-old Serena Leitner, is a junior, also at SCPA. She wants to work in game design. She's working on a storyboard for a Japanese manga-style webcomic. I did comics all the time when I was younger, but I didn't know about the storytelling elements or about lettering or about any of that. I just was doing it for the sake of doing it. And so I learned a lot about the technical side of comic making. And I think it's making my art better. It seems like it to me. And I, really, I just, yeah, I've learned a lot here. It's nice. The geometric um, environment was great, right? But there are no people. Their lessons range from the practical, um, like shading and drawing the techniques, the to the conceptual, the like how comic the panels the mesh the and flow together to tell a story on a page. <laughs> you know, you did a good job with the relationship between the two of them, the story, varying your shots. You Alonzo know, Nunez says the interdisciplinary nature of comics way. intertwines very different aspects of learning to help students in other areas, like writing and visual storytelling. He says that's a fundamental part of his teaching philosophy. And they have to find a way to not only make that sound interesting as a piece of writing in and of itself, but it has to work in the context of the art. So the writing has to um, be dynamic, but also flexible and be able to bend around the art, which forces, it to, um, forces the students to, to adapt their writing. The name of the school, Little Fish, comes from a children's book in which small fish are frightened by bigger fish, so the small fish band together to scare the big fish away. It's a deliberate reference to the size of Comic-Con versus the individual people in San Diego who are creating a year-round way to celebrate and spread their love for comic book art. For KPBS, I'm Brooke Binkowski.